I'm going to give you some tips. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous. Episode 62.5. Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew. Shrooms, 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 Episode 62.5 of <laughs> From Shows to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. I'll explain in a bit. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, 3064 Grand <laughs> Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133, home of the motherfucking fish taco. Oh my God, it's so good. Taco Tuesday. Whiskey Wednesday. Ladies Night Thursdays. 35 beers on top. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 22 big screens. Come by, watch a game. There you go. March Madness, right? March Madness, it's, baby. It's such a big, it's such a great time. It is. The Hurricanes are in the Sweet 16, so come by and support your local team uh, at their local bar. It's very local of you. It's very local. We like to keep it local here. On from Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hyrule. The show it's not really about shrooms or Skyrim. I'm Matthew. And I'm Hiram. And we have a very special guest with us this evening. I was actually going somewhere with that. You just fucking cut me off. Well, but it's almost so it's like we were in sync, but we weren't really in sync because I didn't really want you to pick up what I was putting down. Oh, well, I didn't know what you were p- putting down. Well, maybe. Well, why don't we just do fucking another <laughs> run at the beginning of the episode? How about that? Because I can't see where your fucking eyes are. Uh, it's because, unfortunately, I have some fucking weird shit going on with my eyes right now. So I have to have this these fucking glasses on. Because I don't want to scare the general public with the way that my face looks at the moment. Okay? You should do a full mask in that case. Uh, w- dude, we've done episodes here <laughs> with people in full mask. That, that wouldn't be a first. Okay? We did the Coquito Monkey episode. You what oh, the fuck oh. is that? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? Yeah. The coquito monkey. Like coquito I don't monkey. like where that. It just sounds oh, bad. It's dude. so good. It's so good. You have to watch that episode. It's a monkey our, that brings you coquito. It's a monkey that brings you coquito, dog. I, I, I don't. You know. Is let's just say. Is his, his name Renee? And, and is it fifty a bag? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> His, his name is not Renee. <laughs> also, in a full season, um, Versace jumpsuit. That's right. He was in a full Versace jumpsuit. It was fucking banging. That was a good episode. That was one of my favorites. <laughs> that sounds like something out of a fever dream when you describe it. <laughs> but it was only one take, right? Yes. Oh, it was only one take. It was only like, one take. Sounds like a good one. Because the, that day we were being professional. Today, today we're just, we're not being professional. Yeah, so we had like. 18 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> he was going to say 20, and he knew he couldn't say it. A fucking pristine airtime that's, content. That's, and then we just, we ruined it. <laughs> I think we still got momentum, though. I think, I know. I, I think we, I mean, no, we yeah, can pick the, up. The, like, the energy is right. Oh, here. yeah. No, no. I, I can feel it. I can feel it, too. I can touch it. I can, I can feel it. I can feel The yogis say it's in my, my third circle. Burning my third circle, the energy. Is that, that the taint? Is like that's, the gooch? That's, that's the gooch one, I think. There's like it. a little gap of area. There's like, it's a, like little, a little boop. It's like if you had a different chromosome, it would have been an orifice. Mm, you know, maybe. Yeah. Maybe. There's a little spot there, though, that I yeah. like. You know oh, what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm nice. saying? A little, nice. hey! yeah, yeah. But, you know, you gotta, you, that's when you get older. You know, when you you're see, younger, yeah. you try to avoid those spots. You don't know what's going on. <laughs> you're know, like, wait, wait, wait. As you're older, you're like, oh, no, 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 go ahead, explore. Go ahead. I remember, <laughs> I remember like being with my girl and like with another couple, and they're like doing blow in the bathroom and they're being crazy. And like, <laughs> and like the girl comes up to me, and she's like, huh? mm-hmm. and then the guys were talking to my wife and shit. I'm like, oh my uh, God, we're about to <laughs> fucking swing. <laughs> I'm like, I'm not old enough. <laughs> when, once I hit 40, I'll make out with the guy. I don't give a fuck, but I'm not there yet. You know what I'm saying, dude? <laughs> you know, like whatever you want. To, no, just, no, I do, I do, I love it. Yeah. I love it. No, yeah. I get it, I get it. You know, like, you know, there's a time and a place. I'm not there yet, bro. Yeah, give me, give me ten years. Yeah. I'll be back we'll here. Turn off the lights. Whoever's whoever. What's that? Who cares? A hole's a hole. A hole's a hole, <laughs> baby. Get Let's in do your this. hole. Let's do this. <laughs> get in your hole. Get in your hole. <laughs> Are you too good for your hole? <laughs> Why don't you just go in your hole? Just go in your hole. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. 
Do me. What? What was that, Anakin? What? Oh. Get in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Downloaded the wrong movie <laughs> yet again. <laughs> watched it all the way through, though. <laughs> I actually watched uh, Revenge of the Sith last night when I got home, and my wife woke up and she's like, she literally woke up. She goes, "Why are you watching this stupid fucking movie?" And then rolled back over and went to bed. The story of my so life. I, I, I tapped her on her shoulder. I go, "It's still better than all the Harry Potters combined." <laughs> she got so pissed. She loves Harry Potter. Oh my god. We have these huge fights, and every time we get into the fights, I'm like, Voldemort couldn't take over a high school. I don't want to <laughs> fucking hear it. I'm like, Vader ruled the galaxy. I'm like, get out of here. You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> You're good. a wizard, Harry. That, <laughs> those movies, I mean, they're, they're good, you know. Now, now that not, now the cast doesn't even want to have anything to do with her. Oh. Uh, uh, J.K. Rowling. I, th- they're, they're, I think she should have been like, J.K., just kidding, you know. <laughs> Whatever the fuck she said. I know she said some fucked up shit. Well, uh, she's, she's, she's very, uh, I don't, I don't not saying that she is. I don't know enough. I don't follow the situation enough, but uh, according to what the social media out, uh, is saying is that she's, that she makes very transphobic posts Uh, and, you know, that's going to be an issue in today's. Society. Uh, why do you have to put effort into being trans? Just like let people be fucking, you know, I, whatever. I, like, I, why do you care so much? I, I, I don't. Not you. I oh, mean, I, just like I, her in general. Is she hot? J.K. Rowling. Yeah, she's worth a billion dollars. Yeah, she's hot. She sounds. She's awesome. fucking hot. Like, and she's she. There's a billion behind that. She's like whatever. I if she was if she looked homeless, I'd still think she was hot. I'd be like, hey, she, what's up? Yeah, exactly. I'm like, oh my god, I saw you from over there. Have you you seen, are gorgeous. Have you seen Jeff Bezos? <laughs> Bezos or whatever, uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Like, have you seen the old pictures of him versus like the new pictures of him? CEO entrepreneur, born in nineteen sixty four, Jeffrey. Jeffrey Bezos. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> what the fuck was that? First of all, I scared the shit out of me. I was like, wow, oh, somebody's fucking busting caps in here. Matthew, oh Matthew was like, finally, <laughs> he said it, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> For this forever, you almost hit the wrong button. You're like, oh, shit. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, like, once you get rich like that, everybody gets hot, dude. You can't, I mean, you know, you can't have that kind of money and not, I mean, you got to be a real piece of shit to, to be still like, look like shit and yeah. have money. I'm trying to think about people that are rich and still Warren look like Buffett. shit. Warren Buffett. You know, there's a guy that like you know still wears like JC Penny suits and shit, and you know, like doesn't really care and eats at McDonald's. You know, yeah. but. But Be- Bezos is fucking jacked now, and he's oh really? He's fucking dating that supermodel chick or whatever, and you know he fucking he gave half his fortune away, and it didn't even make a dent. He gave away like fifty billion dollars or some shit like that. Dude, forget J.K. Rowling. I'm trying to get with five hundred Bezos now. Oh, listen, he can do whatever he wants to me. <laughs> You're breathtaking. I am breathtaking. No, I am not you. No. <laughs> Um, Yo, the fact that he could give away half his money. I don't know then, if it was half, but it was a lot of his money. However much money. it was, and then just make his wife the richest woman in the world now. That's it. That's it. Just simple, his ex-wife. Yeah. His you, ex-wife. No, I mean. And then and then the best thing that could ever happen to him happens to him, COVID, right? And then everybody has to go online and buy. Like, oh, my God. Everybody was buying from Amazon, right? And it was, I mean, like. He's back in the money, yeah. baby. <laughs> He's like, I made that money back. Bet you wish you hadn't gotten the divorce check yet. Oh. Huh. <laughs> so, true though it's true i mean you know but she's giving away all that fucking money i mean she's not giving it all away but she's giving a lot of that fucking money away well how much did she fucking need, she though? made a lot of money dude i want to say it was something like uh, i mean how much is he worth i want to say it was close to like that's got to be like 500 million dollars like I, I i wouldn't be surprised if it was like 500 million dollars yeah, we definitely got to look that up. But it's got to be way more than that. I, I, that I, is peanuts. I, but I don't. I don't. Million? Yeah, but okay. So like, how much is he worth? Yeah, but he's a fucking billionaire. Yeah, but he, but he just in the last two years like doubled how much he was worth because of COVID. Like, they really like him and Elon have really like separated themselves from everybody else these last two years. By the way, they're still not the richest fucking people in the world. Like that's wait, just so the richest much, people how, on. Wait, paper. so you said five hundred million? That's what I think. 
you would think is worth five hundred million. No, I'm thinking that's what she got. I'm thinking she got five hundred million. <laughs> four point two billion dollars in the settlement for the divorce. Four point two? Okay, he's billion. worth he's worth one hundred and eighty seven billion dollars now. Right? But yeah. look at two years ago. He wasn't worth that. Two years ago he was worth like ten billion dollars. I want to hit him up and be like, dude, just can you just like cash out me five bucks so I can put gas in my tank? <laughs> what what you, gas? I'll, 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 what gas? You're getting a gallon? You're getting a yeah. gallon of gas? Yeah. Get out of here with that. And then I could, I'll send him pictures of my feet, whatever he wants. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he's into, but I'm into it. I've been thinking about going on fans only and doing feet stuff. <laughs> Man, imagine being a hot chick and you could just like do shit like that. <sighs> you don't have to do anything. You could just be hot. You know? I mean, you know, it's the life, bro. But. You got to be okay with that. Like some people are okay with that. Some people aren't okay with that. You and me are, would, would <laughs> we be. would, we, we're the kind of people that would be like, oh, you're going to pay me to see my ball hole? Oh yeah. Okay. I'll <laughs> Dude, me and chlamydia would be like this. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Why chlamydia of all of them? I don't know. Well, I guess, I guess you can get a shot for the chlamydia. The clap is forever though, right? No, 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 That's no. herpes. That herpes is forever. The herpes is Batman forever. <laughs> that's, the, that's the line in Vegas. That are, uh, uh, what's the, the fucking hangover? Whatever happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Except, Except her herpes. That shit comes back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before he takes the car. Yeah, yeah, that yeah, shit yeah. comes back with you. And it's true. 4.5 billion? 4.2 billion? Fucking A, man. Is she just like that? Richest woman in the world. Just like that. More than Dolly Parton, who's worked her fucking ass off her entire life. Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dolly Parton. I love Dolly Parton. I love Dolly Parton. She's a I fucking saint. I was a saint. young girl. Jolene. 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 I was listening to her like audiobook, and she's like, my grandfather gave me my first butterfly brooch, and I really liked that. <laughs> That was the whole book. It was all the book. Like she sounded so innocent, but in my mind, I knew she was partying like crazy. And she wasn't partying. She wasn't a party girl. No, no. She's just a good girl. She's a good girl from fucking the Smoky Mountains of Tennessee, man. Jolene. She's giving. She's giving out over like some crazy, like some crazy number. I think it's like over two million books to children to help, like, teach them to read. Um. Like the the salary that she pays her employees at like Dolly uh, Dollywood or whatever is Crazy. like uh, yeah it's it's awesome they they can go like to Dolly college Parton for free. Is so wholesome. She, she's like the best, bro. The best. She she was nominated. She just got nominated for oh, the Rock and, and Roll Hall down, of Fame. And she, she denounced and herself. And she she said I haven't done it. This woman said I haven't done enough. Yeah. To be considered in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and they said, and sorry. Too bad. We sent it out already, and we're going to induct you whether you want to be inducted or not. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were like, sorry. But that's just one more reason why we want to induct It's because she feels country. She feels like more she's like folk and country. It never really felt like a rock and roll for her. Well, know? I mean, you know, yeah. LL Cool J isn't rock and roll either, but he got inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Man, they let anybody in that shit. Uh, Jay-Z's in the Rock and Roll <laughs> Hall of Fame. Uh, now, I, I wouldn't... I, I know that Public Enemy is in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, they did a crossover with Anthrax, yeah, like in the early '90s. So I could see, you know, yeah. that they have, you know, something there. But yo, but like, it's like it's all about that genre blending, continuation of the genre, like the essence of a rock star. What well, Dolly Parton? That's like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is more than just rock and roll. Yeah, it's, it's not just like classical, like rock music. Well, no shit. You have to like reach a part. Like you have to at least have destroyed like, five hotel rooms. <laughs> <laughs> you have to at least been arrested in front of the and and, and, and caught do, with drugs at least you, three times. You had to snort a line of ants, you know, yeah, thinking it was cocaine. Your manager has to try to kill you at least once. <laughs> <laughs> One band member went psychotic. Yeah, you know? yeah. <laughs> just that's definitely like the certain echelon. I was watching a documentary with uh, Leonard Skinner, and they were talking about. Uh, you know, they were getting heavy into the the psychedelics, and uh, they went to go see um, uh, the Exorcist, and they were fucked up on uh, acid or something. And the bassist for the fucking group freaked the fuck out and had like a psychotic break, and like they had to like they had to take him off tour. 
and they had to put him in like a mental institution for like two years. This guy went fucking nuts because of the he movie? because he went and saw The Exorcist on acid and had a psychotic break. And then they're showing like a preview, like they're showing the guy talking on the documentary, and he's he's passed away, right? So this is like old, right? And you're looking at the guy, and you're like, oh yeah, you know, he's still not there. Like, really? <laughs> like this guy is like this guy is still not all there. Yo, you're making me feel like a survivor for for fucking uh, tripping out of my mind. Watching the Batman. the Batman. Wow. Bro, this guy, this guy, the lights come on for the Batman movie, and I turn and I look at this guy, and it's just, it's, it's all black. It's all people. It's, it's, it's just all people, bro. It's all people. He could barely walk. I, I asked him like three questions, and this were, this was his answer. <laughs> were you shrooming? Yeah, he was. Uh, how much did you take? <laughs> Yo, like a quarter. A uh, quarter? Yeah. To the face while we're watching the movie. At one point, he's like, he's like, hey man, he's like showing it to me. I'm like, oh, he's like, you want this? I'm like, I gotta go pick up my fucking kid. I look, what at, are the, you doing? look at the size you of this cap. Like, what are you doing, dude? Like the fucking penguin and Batman were having that car chase, and and I, I was there, I was just there, like, who am I? I was like, I was like, whose arms are these? Oh my god. Yeah, dude, that's that's you know I was thinking about that meme that you posted today, or who posted it? Which one about the tripping in the theater? On the from shrooms to Skyrim handle oh, on, that's on Instagram. On Instagram, it would be him. Yeah, there's like a there's oh yeah yeah, yeah yeah about like tripping in the theater. Yeah, you know everybody's like <laughs> I think that's fun, but then you're like fucking tripping balls in there. I I don't do even when I like had done mushrooms and shit. I would not do that in a movie theater. Like yeah. I could do that at home, right? But Especially for a superhero movie, you know. Movie theaters are for hand jobs. <sighs> hand jobs. That movie theater, man. I haven't gotten a handy in a movie theater since. I've never got. That's not a dude. I'd be like looking over at the people like that's fucking disgusting. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah, what? No, not me. But if I was forty, <laughs> <laughs> I'd be in it. I'd be like, let me help that guy. I mean, out. it's gonna sound out. it's gonna sound really gross, but let's just say I was a teenager and you know at the Regency movie theater. We uh, definitely saw, got a lot of action from me at those 10 o'clock movies. Wow. Yeah, well, when you live in Stewart, Florida, nobody's going to the 10 o'clock movie, so you know. Called? What's it called, the first movie of the day? The matinee? Matinee, there you go. Matinee. That's my favorite movie to go see, is the matinee. The HJ at the matinee. Because you get that $6, <laughs> you get that six dollar discount. It makes you feel like it's the 90s again. You're like, ah, $6 for a movie, you know? It's not bad. We got to do. Chris was just talking about that too. Was he about going to the theaters like in the, in the like early in the day? Yeah, because he has nothing else to do. Yeah, yeah. Because Chris is an old guy like me. That's why. Yeah. <laughs> like all I of, bet Chris is into swinging at this point. All of us were not. <laughs> yeah, swinging, dude. He's all and his on his own swinging. I love from you, Chris. hand to hand. Chris, I want you on this show. I want you on this show because you remind me of like a miniature Mark Marin, and I love you, and I want you on the show. Oh, that's funny. He, doesn't see, he? Doesn't yeah. he? Every time I see Mark Marin, I think, oh my god. God, that's Chris. Like to the T. They look alike. They can look like very jittery yeah, 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 yeah. And, and and anxious. All the then their hands and the you know <laughs> his cult, his his like cultural references too are like he goes Chris he, he knows everything about oh, yeah. everything. Yeah, he's a very smart dude. He knows a lot about like reggaeton and like and like Latin R and B. I'm like, how do you know about this? He's like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I know this. Please take this knowledge out of my head. <laughs> I don't know how I know this worthless trivia. It's going to come off and pay off for him one day when he's on Jeopardy or some shit. Like anybody be like, you like Daddy Junkie? He's like, no, but I could tell you a lot about him. <laughs> Is that the guy that sings Mas Gasolina? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Got a reggaeton reference. That's what's up. I feel good about myself. I feel like my Latin, I could get to keep my Latin. Quote. I mean, in the Latin world, that's like, say, I mean, it's like saying, oops, I did it again. Is like Britney Spears. Is it? It's a fucking huge song. Gasolina. I mean, I, you know, even I knew that. Did you? Did you though? Really? Dame más gasolina. Dame más gasolina. Dude, that's weird. That they, it's crazy how they like to rap like that. And then people are like, damn, this shit sounds hard. Yeah, it's I don't, I sound so bad. I really don't like it. Do you, uh, did you ever, did, uh, like, uh, anybody here like Cypress Hill fans? That's what it's, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the, pretty, first, yeah, yeah. the first Cypress Hill album? The, the the, Dr. Ring Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, they do. And the first Cypress Hill album, 
they do a song. The the I don't even know if it's the first one. I think it's the first one. It's the one with one could just kill a man. Oh, How yeah. one could just kill a man. That's a great song. They do a song. It was like the first rap song I ever heard in Spanish. Right, and that's how they were rapping. You know that. You know, <laughs> I'm like, oh man, you guys sound way different in English than you do in Spanish. There's other rappers that go, like I don't, I just don't understand where they're in the studio and they're like, this is it, we're gonna make it. You know, <laughs> but they do it. People actually like. I just don't. I just listen. Really I don't have, get it. I have a, a a family member of mine. Well, I'm not gonna say his name. Uh, that he's big in like the reggaeton. Like scene, like in the regular. Is he gonna watch this and hate me? Uh, probably it not. Uh, but uh, <laughs> he uh, he goes to like the Latin Grammys and shit. And he knows all these artists, and every time I go on his like Instagram page or his stories, he's always in some fucking nightclub, right? And the artists are coming out and they're singing and they're doing that. They all, by the way, they all look exactly the same. Yeah, they have a line in the, the, the head. line in the head. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, freshly shaved up, skinny jeans. You know? No more true religion. <laughs> No, no, no more. No, but still the skinny jeans, but still the skinny jeans. Um, and people are just bump like they're getting fucking they're like hyped to see these people. And I'm like, this sounds like straight horse shit. Like, this is a horrible fucking music. And I love Latin music. Like, I like, you know, the classics, yeah. you know, like I like merengue and salsa. You know, Don't give me, there's some cool Latin R&B out there that's like. You know, it's dope. I like I like R and B. I like neo soul. I like stuff like that. And there's a lot of cool artists doing it. Oh, you like neo soul? Yeah, yeah, I do. I really, I really do. I, I like, like neo soul. I baby, like minor you know? minor seventh chords. You know, I think there's no, just something about no, it that sounds great. I have no idea what that means. It's just melon. It's like it's like bittersweet melancholy, like bluesy kind of chords. Ooh, bittersweet melancholy. I'm trying to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely ah. yeah. yeah. Uh, anytime I'm trying to fuck, I put on the massive attack. That's oh, it right really? there. Oh yeah, dude, that's my go-to. They, they give me that rhythm, angel. You know what I'm saying? I get into that massive attack. I don't think I don't. I, can't, I don't think I've. Are they on the? the How, how's the rest of it go? Uh, I don't really know the rest of the song. I just know that one part where he's like, "Are they in the Garden State soundtrack?" Massive they attack? might be. Man, what a great movie! That's a great, out, great soundtrack. A too. great soundtrack too. That's a great movie too. That's like an underrated movie. I love that movie when it first came out. Even though Natalie Portman had a helmet, and she was still hot in that movie. Super hot, right? So hot. <laughs> but I, I, I've, I've had a crush on Natalie Portman ever since The Professional. You know, speaking saying? of soundtracks, nice. so she's we're the exact same age. Yeah. So you know, yeah, she yeah. came out in that movie, and I was like, "This little girl is killing." Wants to learn how to kill motherfuckers. I was like, "I love this little girl." <laughs> one, one, one time, I was uh, wearing a little choker. I was uh, having sex with a shawty. Nice. And uh, I have nice. one. <laughs> what what, yes. what Check. time? I was Did that. It. Check. Uh, I was having sex <laughs> with the shorty. Check. <laughs> <laughs> Check that off. And do I have one of those um, like CD player alarm clocks? Oh, okay. Sick. And I had the Blueprint 2 in there, right? Okay. Right. And somehow it went on um, repeat the one song. <laughs> <laughs> So you were just going to town <laughs> to to the to the watcher to the watcher to the the one with um, Jay and Dre and Rakim. Okay, that's and I I remember like being conscious of the song that was playing, <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> but at that point I was already in the thick of it, so I, I'm like I'm not gonna stop and go mess with the CD player. So yeah, I just listen. <laughs> I just fucked yeah. to the watcher too for like an hour and thirty minutes. I think it's like a tool. An hour and thirty minutes? Why? Wow. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Right? <laughs> Hold on. I'm let's getting tired skip, just let's, imagining. Let's not skip over that piece of information. An hour and thirty. God damn, that's some babe, stamina. If you're watching, babe, that's a lie. <laughs> 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 Un mentiroso. <No>. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he did. Maybe he did. <laughs> <laughs> you got? Hey, you got any tips? You got any tips? It put that, <laughs> but there's a song. That's why I wouldn't know either. But I just kept hearing that shit over and over again. Does it bothering her? Jay-Z, not. Jay-Z's in the room. Why is it Jay-Z in the room? I think it's a great tool to keep going. Yeah. All right, listen. I, it has not been. It, it has not been. Uh, I cannot come while, while listening to Jay-Z. I have. I, I'm not joking. I have spouted off like in my head. I have spouted off like football stats. Like anything to like, like, and you're looking up. You're like, 
that I, I'm, <laughs> especially if it's like the first time, because yeah. you know when it's strange, when it's new, it's always quick. You know, so you're like, uh, Dan Marino threw 420 <laughs> touchdowns yeah, yeah. Uh, in his entire life. He had, you know, <laughs> you're like I, the Marlins won the World Series in 1997 and in 2000. <laughs> it still turns sexy though. For some, like when I try to distract myself, it still gets hot. It's like my grandma I'm playing like baseball, with my grandma, and then like some lady starts making out with my grandma. I'm all like, ah, this is getting sexy somehow. <laughs> It always gets like, I mean, if it was like stats, like, oh, uh, Dan Marino threw this touchdown pass into a man's asshole, <laughs> and some bitches came in and started getting all crazy. Uh oh, who's slapping on Dan's knob? <laughs> it did get, it can't. That's how weak willed I am. I think that's how weak willed I am. <laughs> Sorry. Get in the hole. <laughs> get, in your, get in your hole. I've done movies. I've done. I've, I've literally tried to do like movie quotes like throughout the whole movie. Like, okay, I'm gonna just. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura is in my head right now. We're playing Ace Ventura. This is the first scene. Oh, he's got the UPS box. He's got the UPS yeah, yeah. box. All right. Hey, he's kicking it down the street. Look at Ace kick the box down the street. Yeah, you know, yeah. you're trying to, you know, get into it, but like, you know, he's like, oh, but now he has the dog. <laughs> I fucked that dog. <laughs> Hello, poochies. <laughs> no matter when, it always gets sexy. Yeah, well, the bad part about that is that immediately the next scene after that, he's getting a blowjob. So, like, boom. <laughs> um, let me think about it. Um, sure. <laughs> I was watching that. Watching that now, I'm like, well, it's a high, it's a high performance machine. So I had to put premium in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, like thinking, of, like watching like some of those scenes now. I don't know. It just wouldn't hit the same if it came out now. Oh, right? I, 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 so like the ditzy lady, like, um, can I suck your dick? Yeah. You know, like <laughs> the Dumb and Dumber is still though a fucking like it's a gem. Like you can watch that today and it's still. That's a Coen Brothers fun. movie. No, that's not a Coen Brothers. It that's feels a fairly, like a, it's a Fairly Brothers. Oh, movie. Far, yeah, yeah, Fairly, like fairly Brothers, Brothers movie. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Coen Brothers. Coen Brothers on some other shit, dude. I can't. They, they are. Uh, do you have HBO Max? Mm hmm. Watch something, watch a show called The Tourist on HBO Max. It feels like a Coen Brothers TV show. Yeah. Okay? It's only like seven episodes. Mm -hmm. Super weird, right? Like, I watched it, and I was, I kept going, man, I feel like this is like out of, like, like a cult. This was something, like, I kept trying to think that, like, the Coen Brothers was somehow associated with it. Because it was so Coen yeah, Brothers. It was yeah, so yeah. good, though. I, I I recommend it. It was like, I give it like a 7.8. It was okay. good. It was good. It's called okay. The Tourist. The Tourist. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. I'll check that it's, out. And, and it, it takes place in Australia. I love shit that takes place in Australia. Down so under. I love going down under, too. I love going down under. I just, I'm sorry. Matt, you like going down under? Yo, I'm just upset that I haven't been as funny this take as I was when we started recording in that bit. But that the we thing lost. was, you weren't funny in those takes either. You just thought you were. You were killing. I was killing. <laughs> you were killing. Yeah. You were he killing. knows. Yeah. You were kill he was killing? He I was killing? Know. I remember okay. one of the first things you said, I was. I don't think we were even recording yet, but I almost teared. Oh, shit. I was splitting sides. Yo, when I was laughing right now, I, I lost control of my body <laughs> and... I was over here <laughs> farting uncontrollably. I was I was holding in my fart the whole time. I, I lost was like, it. I was like, oh, don't <laughs> fart right now, not, bro. I, there was a thought in the back of my head like, I hope I don't poop. <laughs> That's a problem. Because yeah. the floodgates are open. That's it. If you have a baby, if you sneeze, you'll pee a little. What? <laughs> If you give birth you, to, if you're a woman and you oh, give birth to I'm like, a baby, what are you fucking talking about? I, mean, I'm like, I have a baby and I sneeze all the time and I don't pee. Well, obviously, the fucking gender that can uh, have babies. Uh, <laughs> you're talking, okay, you're talking, yeah. But after that, if you sneeze or laugh too hard, or laugh too hard, you're like, hey, you made me pee. <laughs> Like you ever get that normal. from her? You ever get that? I know. I, yeah, no, I know. I, I've, I've heard it. I've Yo, heard it. it's just like the way you said it. If you have a baby, <laughs> it's like if you like if you if there's a baby in the room, right? Yeah, <laughs> just holding the baby. Yeah. Just holding. If the baby. you're holding a baby and you sneeze, do you know that you pee yourself a little bit? That's basically what you said. <laughs> the chemical reaction between you holding the baby. Um. It happens oh on God. the molecular level. <laughs> Please don't talk to me about molecular level. I'm surprised you didn't shit yourself with as much monster as you drink. 
Do you sleep fine after <laughs> dr- <laughs> like after drinking that? After drinking the monster? Yeah, he sleeps yeah. all day and forgets about what he's supposed to do. Wow, someone sounds bitter. <laughs> do you really get to sleep all day? Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, I work at night. Sick. And he doesn't have a wife, and he doesn't have children. And he li- this guy lives the dream. We have to live vicariously. Uh, that's what I do. That's yeah. why I'm here on Mondays and Tuesdays. Tell me all about the shoddies, dude. <laughs> yeah. And the fatties and the skinnies yeah. <laughs> and the <laughs> Matt Matt likes the ladies. Matt likes the ladies with the big old butt. That's that's what that's what Matt is is Yeah, into. like I'm I'm like the, the ultimate bachelor. It's like, do I want to bang chicks or do I want to have a podcast? <laughs> Can't have both. Well, it's like you could either at the same time. You could either know what an NFT is or you could eat pussy well, but you can't do both. So, you know, that's kind of what you do. You could create an NFT that's a guide to eating pussy. I don't even I still don't know what an NFT is. Yo, see? Next level thinker. <laughs> <laughs> Some little bit, uh, hundreds of thousands of. Did it? What was? What was that? It. What was that guy? What was that guy? I, heard, I hope they serve beer in hell. Uh, Max, do you know who I'm talking about? Do you guys? Do you guys know who that is? That sounds nope. like I said that the other day. Uh, I swear. Uh, there's a guy. Oh, what's his name? His he wrote a book called "I Hope They Serve Beer in Hell," which is like a story, mm. like a, a, a like tales of his like life. Right. Of like all the crazy shit that he did in like college and like womanizing and all this shit. And one of the things that he did allegedly was write a book, you know, that he passed down to his friends about how to how to eat pussy properly. Oh, nice. And I was like, ah, oh, that's not a good book, bro. That's that American Pie. To, that's literally American Pie. That book needs to be written by a woman. OK, yeah, but, <laughs> but that's American Pie. Is it? Yeah, American Pie, they find a book, the Bible. We have to get laid by the end of oh, the library. Yeah, and they yeah, get this yeah. book. His brother's like, hey, there's a book that teaches you how to eat pussy. You know, whatever. Yeah. It's in the library. And I haven't watched those movies in forever. But that wasn't in the first one, right? I, I think that was the first the one. The first one? Yeah, yeah, because he like. No, that was the second one when they go to when they, when they they no? go to college. Yeah, bro. are you sure? Yeah, that's when the second one when they go to college. And then they get the the, the house on the lake. And they're trying to do the crazy shit. All right, it's still American Pie, though. Uh, uh, yes, it's still American Pie. But I haven't even thought about that in fucking years. You know, I published a book. Sorry. I published you, a book on Amazon. And it's called Bitches Be Crazy. You did not an in depth An in-depth look at toxic femininity. You really publish a book? Yeah, I swear. On Amazon? I swear to God. <laughs> it's still up. It's on I'm pretty it, sure it's, it's still like up. an ebook? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, can, I, can I get Hold a hard on. copy? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. I want it right. signed. We, yeah. <laughs> I want a hard copy. Yeah, while you look that up, I just want to uh remind our viewers that this episode is brought to you by Sandbar, Coconut Grove, Home of the Fish Taco, 3064 Grand Avenue, Miami, Florida, 33133, Taco Tuesdays, Whiskey Wednesdays. Ladies Night Thursday, the best place to watch a motherfucking game oh. with your boys. Okay, you guys are still looking that up? I'm trying to find it. Man, you know what songs are stuck in my head? Bitches be crazy. Uh, I do see that there is, there's a lot of bitches be crazy stuff on here. Wait, wait, wait. I got you. I got you. Uh, here, look. Let me see. What? Hold on. What is it? That's like my KDP. Oh my god! Like that's like how do I how do we get a copy of this? Dude? It, you have to have a. I don't like. I don't have it published to be a paperback. You can only get it on a. Yeah, but it says my Frank e-book? Blunt. Is that who you are? That, that's well, that's my pen name. <laughs> that's your pen name, <laughs> yeah. Frank Blunt. Because sometimes I gotta be Frank, and I gotta be blunt, and I also like to eat Franks and like to smoke blunts. Just saying. I mean, well, you know that's pretty fucking smart on both ends. That's brilliant. It's. Good, Frank Blunt. <laughs> yeah, my my sister, my my wife read it and she's like, "This is the dumbest thing I've ever read in my life." <laughs> <laughs> also, I paid like I paid a ghostwriter like fifty dollars to write it off of Fiverr or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> so you, <laughs> it's like it's just a shitty. It's a shock. It's just supposed to be like shock value, you know? Like just like I wanted, I wanted bachelors like you to get the paperback ideally and just have it on your table back there, next to Anne Rand. Frank Blunt, <laughs> bitches be crazy. Yeah. <laughs> it's right there next to Orson Welles, 1984. This oh, is man. a cornerstone of American literature. <laughs> Frank, Frank Blunt. Frank Blunt is ahead of his time. Thanks, bro. We, we got to review the shit out of this book. Oh, man. Because <laughs> I like to eat Franks, and I, I like, like to, to smoke, smoke blunts. blunts. And I like to be Frank and Blunt. 
I like that. You like that, right? I do. I do. That's very good. Yo, I'm going to tattoo oh, Jesus. Frank Blunt on my fingers. Oh, my God. Yeah? Frank Blunt. <laughs> Man, Frank I, Blunt, P.I. I want to read. I just want to read, like, the, Please, the go introduction ahead. to it. Like, Please. Okay. Uh, uh, we would love to hear this. Can you read to us an excerpt from your novel, <laughs> Mr. Blunt? Man, it's so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want oh. I don't want to show it. So you paid a ghostwriter <laughs> 50 bucks <laughs> yeah. to write a book for you mm-hmm. so that you can say that you wrote the book mm-hmm. under a pseudonym of Frank Blunt? Yeah. <laughs> that <laughs> That's the most meta shit I've ever heard in my entire life. I like that meta. That's this cool. is a meta pod. This is is it is it a meta pod? Yeah. That is a Pokemon. Did you see uh Metapod's a Pokemon. Did you see Russia? Thanks. Did you see Russia uh uh put uh meta on the extreme terrorist list and banned it in uh in Russia? I think I remember hearing something about that. <sighs> but isn't that uh but isn't that a Facebook, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Well, it's Facebook, Instagram. All, you know, that all was like their this. biggest tool to use, wasn't it? Like during the Trump's election or whatever. Like yeah, the, like all that Russian, all these Russian. They well, they they have what you know. The they have, cyber attacks. Well, they have Russian <laughs> troll farms. Is really what they have. Yo, you remember that song "Pimp Juice" by Nelly? No, Pimp Juice. No, but do you remember "Booty Sweat" by Al Pacino? No, nobody, nobody got that reference. From uh, Tropic Thunder, yeah, yeah, man. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Take it. All right, this. You all right, cut up the uh, inside it. Look at you. All right, bitches be crazy. An in-depth look at toxic femininity. Oh, here we go. <laughs> this book highlights all about toxic. Fem- this book highlights all about toxic femininity. I don't even know if that's right. I don't, <laughs> know, I, I don't even know if that's like. Have you read your I, own book? <laughs> no, no. It <laughs> is. It, <laughs> it for it. It is a social science phrase that emphasizes restrictive, repressive notions about women's gender roles, which characterize femininity as toxic femininity. <laughs> Take that, bitches! <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I love you, ladies. <laughs> He's married and, and does not speak for this podcast. Yeah, this is only the like there's good and bad in everybody, you know? There's good Cubans, bad Cubans, good ladies, bad ladies. I don't even know enough to like know what group of people we're offending right now. <laughs> all right. Empathy. All right. Uh, I'm just gonna assume women. <laughs> yeah. Women, a broad spectrum of women are is what we're offending right em- now. Empathy, passivity, <laughs> patience, and gentleness are all typical feminine traits that women hold oh or embrace God. to characterize caring. For others at the expense of their wealth while minimizing their challenges. Moreover, it is also discussed in this book that how women use weakness as a weapon to pursue their tack, tack it, tack it interest and seek oh, favor. Oh, it. T-A-C-I-T. Tacit. There you go. Yeah. I definitely never read this. <laughs> oh, man. Whatever. I think you get the gist of it. Oh. Yo, that guy, Fiverr, like- was like, he paid me 50 bucks. <laughs> Tacit. Wait, That's the adjective I'm going with. Look, all right. There's a note at the bottom of that. It says, "No, if it is going to be an interesting read, but if you're someone who can hear the brutal truth about our society and patriarchy, then you should not be here. Because boy, oh boy, <laughs> we are about to unravel the ugly truth here. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, what was I your I, dude, what was your pitch to the ghostwriter? <laughs> <laughs> I, I I wish I had. I don't want to. I don't even want to. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to offend the entire female species. Yeah. This is what we want. Yo, okay. I don't I'm know a, what's a, happening, but I'm farting uncontrollably. I'm a, I'm gonna be like, hey man, the, this is what I told him. I was like, hey, you know your mom, and you know your mom, how much you love her. Forget that shit. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Because it's always gonna get sexy. She's been using her. Hole. Oh my god. <laughs> She's be using her hole to get to get everything done. They don't have to do anything because they have their hole. <laughs> I I mean it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Uh, did you see the, did I did you get to see the cover of it? Yeah, uh yeah. yeah. Did, you sh- did you show it to Matthew? Oh, uh, I don't know what you did here. Uh Let back, me see. back to, Oh, I don't know. I don't know what I just did. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god! I'm gonna wow. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> I just watched a classic old man moment. Oh my god! With the phone. I just feel like I'm gonna throw up right now. Oh, too funny. Let me see. I did it again. I did it again. <laughs> I, w- I watched it happen. What the fuck is that? Who's that? I don't know. It's a stock, oh, stock picture. It was a stock picture. But she oh, looks, she looks so she looks looks frustrated. Yeah, she yeah. looks pissed. But Look that's, that's an example of toxic femininity. <laughs> <laughs> that girl's going to fucking sue your ass one day. I was like, a stock photo. I, I think I got my wife to pay for oh. this. <laughs> I was like, babe, it's gonna be a great investment. We're gonna be rich. I haven't sold. You know, you know how many, you know how many copies we sold? None. None. Zero. Nothing. I wonder why. Because you're just making <laughs> shit up, and you have a ghostwriter writing your ridiculous. I didn't make nonsense. anything up. The ghostwriter made it up. Dog. I didn't do shit. Oh my god, babe! I just paid somebody to write us my masterpiece. Yo, that's a that's like a life hack. That's a, that's a great idea. <laughs> so it goes right on Fiverr and write a book. I'm gonna do that with my autobiography, and then just tell them all just only the best stories, right? You know. I mean, I could still tell somebody, yo, I published a book. I mean, it's a piece of shit, but I still did. <laughs> I, I'm a published author. No, I'm not <laughs> publisher. Publisher. Oh well, whatever. Yo, so you don't remember the song Pimp Juice by Nelly? Mm, can you play it for me? Can you not? Is the, why? I kind of want to hear it. Uh, pimp I mean, pimp when, juice. When, when Country Grammar ooh, ooh, came out. I think I need to let her loose. I fucking ooh, love that shit. She only want me for my pimp juice. What the fuck? <laughs> Yo, it was like by the end of each verse. I think pimp juice is money. You think that's what it is? I think it's a sperm. <laughs> what? It's a, com- it's a combination. It's a combination. It's a combination. A cucumber. A cucumber. Oh yeah, I remember when I thought of this song because uh, why? He says uh, he had a ghostwriter write it for. Him. Bitch, please get in, but don't you slam that dough. Dust your shoes off before you touch that flow. You really want to put your feet on my rug, don't you? You're in a hurry. Slow down, and I might let you touch it. You ain't from Russia, so bitch, why you're Russian? This guy is a uh, poet. This, I'm telling you. It's amazing because that he's... Because she want my pimp juice. It's amazing that he's still not around anymore. Man, some of that production back then was really bad. Oh, some of them. The like Manny was, Fresh, Manny Fresh's beats back then was like... I, I lo- it I was like, like it. lasers. It was like... Pew, 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 pew. Yo, so and the like, end of the second verse, he <laughs> says the same thing about the rug. You really want to really put your feet on my rug, don't you? And then he says, you're in a hurry, slow down. I don't like how you acting. Treat you like you from Milwaukee. Send you Green Bay packing. Wow, from Russia to Green Bay. <sighs> but he had to use the same line again, essentially, as a setup. You know, it's a callback. It's a callback. I mean, he could have, like, said, I'm going to fudge pack it or something. Oh, wow. Well, on her or whatever. That's, I'm gonna check. That's whatever. A fudge pack it? <laughs> Isn't that <laughs> anal? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> fudge packing. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh. Isn't that anal? <laughs> my mommy, my mommy said that that was anal. My mommy said that the girls are going to let me do anal because I have a little wee-wee. Yeah, there you go. Uh, if only that were the case. No, this has been a very forty in podcast. There's, there's been a lot of sex talk in the same sentence with a relative talk, this podcast. It's very weird. It's very weird. Sorry. You know what it makes me feel like? What if, what's it make you like feel a stranger like? stranger in Moscow. <laughs> that's a callback. See, that's a callback. Which is what we're talking about on Nelly's Tunes. The lost episode that we filmed right before this. Oh, the lost episode. What are we going to do with that episode? You know uh, what, boys? I say we NFT it. We can. I say we NFT that episode. We split the profits. Like I was saying that so confidently. 50, 50, 50. No idea. <laughs> no, I have no idea what an NFT is. Even though I know people are mad at Snoop Dogg for taking uh, all of the uh, Death Row record albums off of uh, streaming service, because I guess he's going to do something with an NFT with those songs. <sighs> I haven't heard so, anyone. So people are mad at him for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. How do you get mad at Snoop Dogg? I could never. I could neither ever. ever you know, be mad at Snoop Dogg. It's the best, bro. 
He's a nice guy. He's the best. I that's I I, I think his relate, but the thing that I, I love the most about him is his relationship with Martha Stewart. Because I want to know if they fucked. Yeah, I was thinking the same. I, I want to know. If, I don't I, even want to know. That relationship is so wholesome. Yeah, I I want to know if he's if if she got down. You know, I think her time. Know, I think her you know, time Snoop in Dogg prison. is about to be a playable character in Call of Duty. What? Who? Snoop Dogg. Oh, I, I thought he meant Martha Stewart. I'm like, <laughs> dude, that'd be fucking sick. <laughs> Martha Stewart running around just murking people. In Call of Duty, that would be sick. I heard him saying it was like warm apple pie. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you know what I was watching? I was watching the the roast of Flavor Flav. Oh, my God. Man, that was fucking brutal. Yeah, they go hard on him. Yeah. They go hard on him. Had, with him fucking Bridget Nielsen, because she's there. I think Jeff Ross calls him like a turd. It says it looks like a turd or something like that. Yeah, like, like, a, <laughs> like calling him like a burnt cigarette yeah. or some shit, like ashes or something. Do you know that Do you know that Flavor Flay, though, is like a, a in real life, is like a, a prodigy that knows how to play like 13 different instruments and like I think taught himself how to play all 13 different instruments. And he's like a legit musical genius, but, you know, he's a character. I've never seen that. Yeah. I've never seen him touch an instrument. Yeah, it's it, according to Chuck D, like he was the one that composed, like, Help put all the arrange all the music for the for the. How come I've never seen? Yeah, that? I, it's crazy. I just recently found out about it too. It's like you watching know? Stevie Wonder play drums. You're all like, man, that guy's such a. I'm pretty ass. sure I read Flavor Flav's autobiography a long time ago. Flavor Flav has an autobiography. Yeah. That's surprising. You know why he always wears a clock, right? No, why? It's always at the same time too, because that's when his dad said he was going to come back home. He's going to be, "I'll be home at five p.m." And his, he never saw his dad ever again. He was really. A kid. So he has the clock always at five p.m. That's some sad shit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, uh, I was going to say, <laughs> Jesus, you Christ. made that up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the wrong podcast to do that in, man. We've we we all we'll have... fucking believe you. <laughs> We don't know anything. Especially <laughs> since we all have daddy issues on this podcast. And there's nobody fact checking anything. No, no, we don't have a fact checker on this show. I'm gonna this is like this is like every crypto video on YouTube. This is only for um, entertainment purposes only. Yeah. <laughs> do not uh, do, do not take my advice. Well, oh, do, do they have to say that? They usually do. They're mm. like they're like, uh this is just for entertainment, so if you lose all your money, it's not my fault. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, he does uh, the I Flavor Flav, the icon, the memoir. Oh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I do remember reading this like fucking eight years ago. Okay. Have you read Scar Tissue? No, what's that? Anthony Kiedis. Oh, I should have figured that that was. It's the fucking, this guy's such a piece of shit. Dude. Is he? I love autobiography. I love, uh, I love biographies. Is he a piece of shit or is what he oh did a God, piece of shit? Oh my he's just the worst. Who's that? Dude. Anthony Kiedis, uh, the lead singer from Red Hot Chili Peppers. He's just like oh, he's like okay. super selfish in the book. Like when you know they're they're younger too, and he's talking about it. But right, it's just like all he wants to do is like be high, and shoot like heroin, shoot heroin, and right. like I don't know that, that. I mean that band's gone through it though. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I just like if your lyrics are sometimes up and then sometimes down. Any the girls you know? in front of me in the marquee. Yeah, there you go. Bye. to say All right, there's a song that goes. Waiting for. There's a song. <laughs> what's a song that goes? I know. I know for, for sure. sure. And then he goes. Ding 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 dong ding 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 dong yeah. ding dang. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of songs like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, James Brown used to do that. Yeah, but it's Anthony Kiedis doing it. I, I'm just saying. I mean, is that Yo, the, uh, like you know the best? J- James Brown's like, uh, I don't know a word. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> like, I gotta fill this in with a who? Ha! You know? Yo, his <laughs> dance moves were crazy. His dance moves were fire, son. That's where Michael Jackson learned how to dance. Yo, w- one of the best autobiographies I ever read, Miles Davis. No, oh. it's just probably sad and crazy. Yeah. Uh, there's an excellent documentary on Netflix about Miles Davis. Um, that is essentially narrated by Miles Davis as they're telling the story. Um, and it, it, it's not narrated by him. I don't believe, I believe it's, it's like in his diary, somebody else is reading like his words. Um, and it's a fucking phenomenal. No, like heroin document. is great today. We have a show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, the heroin days were legit for that guy, bro. I mean, there was, I mean, and it's weird because like those guys were doing heroin like in the fifties and shit. That was the good stuff. You know, like they, had the yeah, good stuff. they were doing like I was like, 
man, I didn't realize heroin was around for that long. Yeah, <laughs> like, it was like legal back then. Well, I, it's funny enough. Like, I give s- it to your wife to make her shut up when you get home. Or whatever, I saw, you know? I saw a picture, and I, 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 you know, anybody can make anything online now, but it looked legit, and it was a picture of like a bottle of like cough syrup from like the early 1900s, and it was like morphine opium yeah it was like it was i was like if you took this shit you would die like this this isn't for a cold this is for like major surgery <laughs> it's back when men were men yeah, yeah. and it's okay to, you'll be at a restaurant just nodding out like <laughs> <laughs> oh the saloon yeah, or whatever probably. the fuck they had oh my then. god my uh, favorite is when you see him at the gas station oh no no, no. dude it's I, the worst bro i just watched a really good documentary which one Desi and Lucy. That's not a documentary. Yeah, it is. It's not the movie. It's not like a like with Penelope Cruz or. Oh uh, no! Oh, uh, uh, Nicole Kidman and uh, yeah, no, Javier Bardem. No, 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 it's no, a no. documentary. Oh, uh, the documentary, and they have like their audio. So you want to know what the most banging documentary out right now? What? Uh, shit! I already forgot the name. Well, um, South Point. Sharknado. Oh, South Shark, the South Beach Shark Club? South, South Beach Shark Club. Yeah. South Point Sharknado. <laughs> it, really, it really is a cool one. Yeah. But from Lucy, <laughs> Lucy and Desi, yeah. at the first 20 minutes, I was bawling. I could not stop crying. I know. I'm nah. such a tough guy. No, 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 no. <laughs> I, um, but you, have, you should watch it. I'm telling you, please watch it. He, he, I, she was a baller, though. They were both ballers. Yeah, no. He, well, he changed, he changed television. The yeah, th- the three camera, the three camera setup. Mm-hmm. That was him. Yeah, but also like a like her, a woman being like the lead role, and yeah. she's doing comedy and shit. That shit wasn't you know. Nope. And he, uh, he, uh, they bought the studio. They created their own the studio. studio. They bought everything. Yeah, they yeah, owned yeah. everything. They, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They created they created their own studio. That she ended up selling this at the end. She ends up keeping the studio, and then she s- sells it to like ABC or something like that. She sold it to somebody. Oh, what a fucking was, powerhouse. Dude. Yeah, she was, oh, she was a yo, baller, do, dog. Do, do you want me to put the link to uh, your book in the Oh, absolutely. In the bio? <laughs> absolutely. Will you say that to me? <laughs> yeah, I'll send it to you. Absolutely. <laughs> because. Oh. And then I want to follow up in a month and <laughs> see how many <laughs> sales were generated. No, I mean, I would, I'll, I'll cut you a percentage if it looks good. You oh, know? oh, here we go. Yeah. Now oh, we're making like, back alley deals for books. Can we get the same ghostwriter for our podcast? I really want to get in contact with that person. But like this, I want to let them know what they did was magic. <laughs> and was, sir, this is an absolute piece of magistry. Here. I bet I could still find them on Fiverr. Yeah, it should be like in your the, yeah, order yeah, yeah. history. What is Fiverr? Five, five, five. Besides, <laughs> besides the thing that you eat that helps you poop regularly. No, five. Fiverr. Or, mm-hmm. So like, uh, you I could, got five on it. You could like, you could. Hire people to do all different kinds of things. And it's really competitive, too. So some of their prices are really cheap. Like, oh, I need a beat. Like, you buy beats off of there, like, super cheap. Oh. Yeah, like, it's an app. Well, everything, graphic design, website design. Musicians. It's like a Craigslist. Yeah. But, like, the thing with Fiverr is. Does it have uh, a back pages? Dude, uh, I fucking did our podcast logo with Fiverr. Yeah, uh, like, that's this right. is some guy like Ecuador, Peru. Is the one to do the logo. Yeah. So you could like, there's like, it's a whole network of people depending on. Uh, but like, like the, the thing about Fiverr is like, you know, you so you search through your search criteria and you find someone, but it's like as opposed to just finding someone like on Craigslist or Instagram, whatever. Right. That's like all the transactions go through Fiverr step by step. Right. So there's like a sense of security and like, oh, like I'm just not giving my money to a stranger. And whatever they make. You you legally own. They don't own that, right? Yeah, like every, every art, every person has their like own. Like, there's some people that's like, okay, for like the fifteen dollars, like you don't have the right to distribute, but for like forty five dollars, oh, you know, okay. say like there's gotcha. even different tiers. That's okay. like, yeah, yeah, and they all have ratings. Yeah, interesting. And they have like samples, like voiceover work. I am looking to the window, and this is my ASMR. Like they'll have like Whoa. <laughs> yeah. that was moist <laughs> in my ears. <laughs> but, ah. but yeah, you can hire anybody. Ah, for, that's so creepy. You can, hire, you can hire people for anything. Oh my god! 
Send me pictures of your feet. <laughs> Five dollars yes. for one toe, ten dollars for a whole foot. Oh, there you go. Or two feet, right? If it's a dollar, that's a hundred dollars. <laughs> if you, and if you want them washed, that's a buck fifty. <laughs> I want them dirty, baby. I want them extra dirty. Little hangnail on the side. Oh man, that's, that's <laughs> so painful, man. Uh, <laughs> that's why you need a toe knife, like Frank from. Always sunny. Always sunny in Philadelphia. I'm starting to get into that show because you keep playing it every time I come over here. And now, like, I'm starting Dude, to Dude, that you show? Never, you never ne- watched Always ne- Sunny? Never. Never. <coughs> Frank is amazing. That show has some brilliant fucking writing. It does. Disguised and, like... Stupidity? Behind the veil of, like, pure idiocy. It, like, it's like a fucking hyper-realism Seinfeld, almost. Hmm. That's an interesting take. In terms of like, it's a show about nothing. It's a fucking. It really is a show. Gang of ne'er do wells that don't learn their lesson. Three dudes, one girl. Yo, yo, Carlos, have you have you seen the episode where uh, they're having movie night with old black man? No. And then it's at the pub. No, like at. So this is like season eight, when like. D and Dennis have moved in, and damn, whose apartment? I, I don't know. I I'm all over the place with it, but um, that's like there's a dream sequence, but you don't know is it is a dream sequence. But like they're having movie night, and there's like a electrical storm, and then like lightning strikes, and they all get shocked, and they wake up and look in the mirror. And they're black. Okay, I think I've seen. I think I've seen this episode. And then it becomes a musical, and they're like trying to figure out how to turn back, and but they can't stop singing. So it's like, oh shit, it's happening again. What are the rules? What are the rules? What are the rules? What? And then they, they love to do that on that show, huh? They do a lot of musicals on that show, right? Not no. really. No, no. They don't have like one called Nightman and Dayman and shit like oh that. Oh my god! The, when it, when Charlie writes the musical. The Nightman musical, right? Isn't Yo, but I want to say they have a lot of musicals. Oh. Like, that show, I don't want to even say parodies, but, like, we were just watching the one where it's, like, a fucking murder documentary, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the, like, the, like, the first Like, they 48. adopt a lot of uh, genre yeah, tropes. But they also, and then also when they did, like, the, the riff on Invincible, the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, with, with the kicker? Uh, with, right? Where, they, where the guy, like... Is uh, football like they all, all want to go try out for yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, this yeah. show's so fucking crazy. Like, Frank is doing acid, he's in a fucking trash can. Like, D breaks her leg. <laughs> oh, they all get and like they get hooked on crack, like, fucking like three or four <laughs> times. <laughs> he told me, he's like, <laughs> Yo, he's, he's one of the best episodes when they get hooked on crack. I'm like, what? And they're like, uh, they're like, oh, we could get money from v- fish, fish, <laughs> but <laughs> fish have such weird genitalia. Well, that's a mammal, but like a shark has like these little two things that come out, little like stabbers and shit. They're like they look like like antennas. What? Like a shark's dick. A shark's dick. It's like stabbers. Oh yeah, but dude, that episode, <laughs> the musical. Dude, episode. We're talking about shark dicks here, okay? <laughs> no, 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 no. You finish, finish. Shark dick. <laughs> <laughs> shark dick. And that's a new documentary. <laughs> South Beach shark dicks. <laughs> oh, is that why you know so much? Uh. It always turns sexual. It always. It always turns sexual. But do like. But do like. <laughs> I got you spot on, though. I got you spot on. Don't get mad. I, I was pretty good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't, I'm, always Sunny has like its own subculture. Yeah. That's like the show is so offensive, but it's so fucking brilliant, too. Like, I love that episode. Because it's so fucking nuanced in, like, the subliminal message. Like, I feel like the episode should win. What's the fucking award for a daytime? Uh, a daytime Emmy? Yeah, it should get a fucking... Uh, well, should, it's not a daytime TV uh, no, show. I, no, no, I, I meant... get a regular I, Emmy. No, I meant, like, for what's the award for TV? Charlie, yeah, should, Charlie should get, Day should writes get a all fucking that shit, doesn't he? He's one of the... I know he's one of the I writers. I think they all write. Yeah. Uh... By the way, I think, uh, as somebody who doesn't watch that show, I think they're all funny, but I think Charlie Day is by far the funniest one out of, like, I think he's been the one that's been, uh, most successful, the most successful, like, parlaying Horrible his bosses. Acting, yeah, 
uh, the Pacific Rim movies, even though those were garbage, whatever. But he was in them, um, and he's he's in a he's in a bunch of other stuff. But the Horrible Bosses movies, he was great. In What's that. the movie with him and Ice Cube? Where he's uh, oh my god, of uh, of uh, oh shit, get the, fight. the fight, uh, fight, yeah. fight. It's, so, it's something fight. That's that's a great movie where yeah. he. Where he goes to his daughter's school. Uh, and she's doing and the Big Chan yeah, song. Yeah, he's yeah, like, yeah. fuck it. We're going to do it? All yeah, right, yeah, we're going to yeah. do it. That's it. Little, I don't uh, fuck with, with you. Little stupid ass bitch. I and they're doing the whole you. dance and yeah, shit. Yeah. Wait, you actually know that song? I, I do. I like fuck. that song. I don't give a fuck. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't give, give a fuck. fuck. I don't give a fuck. Eat 40s on that. Yo, so I, I, I was trying. Yo, so oh, it's um. That's my impression. Tell me when to go. 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 Go, 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 go. Tell me when to go. Tell me when to go. You got to get a go. But yeah. uh shit's off the fucking rails. The show is crazy. crazy. Yo, Always Sunny is actually now the. Longest running live action comedy series ever. Live action comedy. So series. it started in what, like two thousand and two, two thousand and one, right? And I remember they got started because like Spike TV did like a contest to find like the funniest show. I mean, two thousand five, two thousand TV. Spike TV. That's where they initially started at, if I'm not mistaken. Like Spike TV had done a contest that they would produce, like you know, like one of those like you. You send in the show, mm-hmm. and we're, we're going to pick one. It was like, you know, yeah, and yeah. they ended up picking It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. And 2005, what are we in fucking almost 20 years? Yeah. Jesus Christ. 17 years ago. Jesus Christ. And they're still going? They haven't been canceled? No. I'm surprised Danny DeVito's lived that He's long. He's getting shorter. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to implode one day. Dude. He's got to be <laughs> old as fuck now. Right, he's Danny DeVito's got to be. Yeah, like I'm reading this article in the I'm reading this article in the Enquirer about how someone was saying that the show wasn't funny enough to carry its controversial topics, and then they're like, "Okay, this is the first time I recall seeing crack horror listed in the credits." (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I like that crack horror. I played crack horror number one. Carlos played crack horror number two. I did a great job <laughs> at crack bar number two. I fit right in. Um, that was like um, uh, I'm a method actor, so Halle, I really Halle, Halle, yeah, Halle yeah, Berry. Ha- what was what was the movie that Halle Berry was in? Monster Jungle Ball? Fever. Jungle Fever. Halle Berry was in Jungle Fever, and she played like a a crack whore. Like a she was like addicted. I don't know if she was a whore, but I know she was like addicted to crack. Um, Dude, it can't be far. And and it and it was so hard, like because she's so beautiful, right? So she, like, had to, like, in order to prep for the role, she, like, said that she didn't, like, shower for, like, a month. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she tried to make herself as ugly as possible. And you still see the movie, and you're like, no, I'd fuck that crack whore. Yeah. <laughs> I'd definitely fuck that crack whore. I would give her money for crack so she could suck Samuel L. Jackson is her, her, her husband in that movie or her boyfriend in that movie. Yeah, I was just thinking about Black Snake Moan with Christina Ricci. Oh, oh dude. Oh, dude, bro. She's so hot. Christina dude. Ricci, a child, no, but like, you remember you were saying about Natalie Portman? Oh, no, who was it? Natalie about? Portman, yeah. For me, Christina, yeah, Christina Ricci, Ricci yeah. was like, as a kid, I yeah. saw her in Casper. I was like, I love this girl. Casper, Adam's family, man. Yeah, hey, I didn't like that. Oh, I man. I um... She's actually, so, you know, they're making a, uh, Tim Burton is doing an Adam's Family TV show called Wednesday for Netflix. Oh, it's like. Uh, and uh, he cast Christina Ricci. So she's coming back. To be like I don't Wednesday's know, mom I don't or something? Know, I, don't know, I don't know how they're going to fit her in, but she's coming back to, you know, to that world, which is essentially what made her famous to begin she's got with. She's a big ass dome. She's, she's like beautiful. Big, like I know, she's. I'm in love with her too. But she just has like her, the top of her head is like. She had like a really weird part in the Matrix. Like they were like, "Oh, Christina Ricci's in the movie," and I was like, "Oh, I wonder what her role's gonna be." And then her role was like literally three lines. Christina Thirty Ricci seconds. She was in the Matrix. Yeah, the new Matrix movie. She was in it. She's in the boardroom when they're coming up with like when they're when they when they're trying to come up with it. Did you see the new Matrix? Yeah, I loved it. Oh, we loved it too. Like, it's everything you wanted it to be. That's, it was the ending you. you wanted. Everybody's happy. They're yeah. flying together or whatever. <laughs> Someone said it was a women empowering movie. I was like, what? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? So Yo, I, I, was I was watching some Steven. shit that uh, Talib Kweli shared. It's a video of these two guys. You mean uh, Talib, lyrics stick to your rib? 
Yeah. <laughs> What's that from? Noise. Nice. What's that from? Oh, you don't really know him. Why is you lying? <laughs> <laughs> That's lyrics. Oh. What what was he saying? It's from a Kanye West song. No, so. what, no, what oh fuck Kanye West. <laughs> My flow is in the pocket like Wallace. I got the bounce like hydraulics. You can't call it. I got those swerve like alcohol. Oh, that pressure knee had been going to hell and prize till I bit on my nerve to drive my ass out, out of college. college. <laughs> oh, dude, it's so good. Sorry. <laughs> Please go ahead. Yeah, no, that was it. Uh, what, what, what was Oh, yeah, is, is these two guys talking shit about the Batman? They were like, uh, we've got a uh, black Commissioner Gordon and then Catwoman's black and she's mm-hmm. talking shit about the white man's world and then Batman kisses her and I'm like, Batman's You sure be- it was two guys or it was Ben Shapiro? Because that sounds pretty much spot on what Ben Shapiro like, said. Yeah, Batman's supposed to be an Aryan superhero like fighting for the white man. Like, what are you doing, Batman? What? Like, Okay, Ben Shapiro didn't say that, but that's the dumbest yo, shit I've ever heard in my life. That's like, bro, I'm going I'm to fucking show you this shit because it is... See, that's when, that's that's when we get that's that's when they get the the wrath of from Shrooms to Skyrim. Motherfuckers like that coming out talking all that fucking nonsense. I can't stand that shit. Fucking Yo, me and Hiram will fucking pimp slap. <laughs> fucking hate when you they do pale, that shit. Pale pasty cocksucking oh, motherfuckers. Th- there's only one time where Batman was politically incorrect. And that was when he was trying to, like, Uma Thurman was like, hey, let's save the world and shit. Oh, yeah. And he was, was like, like, nah. he was like, you're crazy, bitch. Nobody's vegan here. Wear some deodorant. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Mr. Freeze is trying to warn us about global warming, and she's trying to warn us about, uh, uh, like, the environment going to hell, mm-hmm. and we're all rooting for the rich billionaire white guy. And it's like, <laughs> he, he needs more flames coming out of the back of his car. That bat suit has nipples. Put <laughs> nipples on the bat suit. Oh, man, that was still, <laughs> still. You know, that, that ruined that director's, like, like, Joel Schumacher had, like, a really... Yo, who purposely puts nipples on the outside? I don't get it. It doesn't even make sense. Like, it, it, like from a design standpoint, from, from, a, function, from a functionality... <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. Those movies were just <laughs> destined to fail. You know it would be better? If, like, the material there was just a little bit thinner than the rest of the suit, so you could, like, play with it a little bit. It would be, like, a puffy... It's like a silicone puffy base. Ba- like puffy a, bat nipple. <laughs> puffy bat nip. Like, he works well, out so much so his nips could be hard, but they're uh, still puffy. Uh, <laughs> I I don't get it. I I don't understand. I like it's a it's a stimulator like catnip for cats, but it's bat nip. No, I'm not talking <laughs> yeah. about that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give me some bat nip. Yeah, can can can, can, can you do the, the the water sound again? That's not. I don't know why you get that. It sounds like water. It sounds like crushing guts. <laughs> right, I'm gonna eat this pickle now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always I think about Howard Stern where he's like, "You have a you have a big speaker in your living room. All right, now put it on the floor." <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. Oh my god! Like this guy's Dude. a genius, and I totally rubbed it out to like eleven years old to that part of the movie. <laughs> you, know, you know, it's it, it it's. I listen. I get it. He's older now, right? and you can't be the same guy. You, you clearly can't, right? Especially with the shit that he was doing for as long as he was doing it. But it's so weird to see like the one eighty in Howard Stern, right? Like it's. Was it after Robin Williams died? Mm, I that, don't know because like he had him on, and he like totally like. Blew it with Robin Williams, and after that, he killed himself. Really? I mean, pretty much. Like, well, he, I mean, Robin Williams killed himself because he had. I know. He, I, he, he had like he, I, he had. Well, he had obviously had depression issues, but I thought he was. I thought he was getting something like early on, like er, like early dementia or something like that. Like oh, that really? was yeah. Like there was something that was going to happen to mm-hmm. him, like physically, that he where he wasn't going to be able to be who he was. So yo, I think he, he yo, I just out. remember 50 Cent getting mad and walking out from the Howard Stern show because he kept asking him like what it was like fucking Chelsea, Chelsea Handler. Handler? <laughs> he got mad? Yeah. Are they still together? Nah, nah, nah. You nah. know what's weird to see? You know who she's with now? Who? Joy Coy. Who is that name? Uh, Joe Coy. Joe Coy. He's a... Joseph! <laughs> He's a stand-up comic. He's Filipino. Bobby Lee loves him. He, he used to be he used to be on her show all the time back in the day. 
Uh, and it's weird because they were like friends, and she always like used to make fun of the fact that he had like a small dick, you know. And wow. yeah, well, because he was, you know, he's Asian, you know, you know how she she goes hard. She does not. She she is. She could have been a little more creative with it. Maybe yeah. maybe he's got a maybe uh, maybe. It's, maybe it's all right. Maybe now it is. You know, I mean, she ain't complaining about it, but uh, oh, because oh, because they're together. They're together. Now. Yeah, so maybe they just do anal. Hey, what was that? What's that called? When you bring it back, when you bring it back around, call back, call back, call back. There call back. There Except go. on this show, we're gonna call it a comeback. <laughs> nice, C U M, C U M, yeah, yeah. C U M, C U M. You're back. Nice, 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 nice. It's the nest. My God, I'm so nasally. <laughs> oh my God, my nose is filled with boogers. My eyes are fucking on fire right now. <laughs> yeah, I like how you have those aviator glasses. And sometimes, like when you tell your head a certain way, I can like just see the reflection of that tear trail. Sure, tear trail. <laughs> I'm just crying, dog. When it's I came in, I, so bad. when I came in, I thought he was like venting, and he was like, <laughs> like telling, and he, hey, Carlos, how's it going? You know, like as if nothing happened. No, 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 no. <laughs> no I'm just I'm not. I'm not 100. It's right just now. really tough right now, yeah. bro. I'm it is just, actually really tough right now, guys. Okay, I'm going through a lot, but you know, I'm still here. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, whatever, dude. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. Play the music for me, please. Oh, no, he has to. <sighs> Forget it. Don't play the music. We lost a moment. Forget it. You guys don't know, man. It's hard out here for a pimp when you're trying to make the money for the rent. What is that? Shot us. A lot of explosion. Whoop that trick. You know it's hard out here for a pill. Whoop that trick. When you're trying to make the money for the friend. You sound horrible. Bro, I watched but the Cadillacs and gas money spent. Because a whole lot of bitches talking shit. What does Cadillacs and gas money spent have to do with anything? I saw that movie rolling and I loved that movie. Uh, I was like, love. well, I like the, 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 the protagonist. What's this guy's name? The guy from Empire or whatever? Terrence, Terrence Howard. Howard. I fucking love that guy. Yeah, I hate him. I hate him. Really? I hate him. And his girlfriend in the movie, I think she's so hot. Like, I love that girl. I think she's that so was, hot. Hiram Not was his like, prostitute. I was <laughs> his girl. I I, I, I just, I, 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 for some reason, I just get like this super pretentious bullshit L.A. vibe from him that like bothers me. So when Don Cheeto shows up, you're a lot happier. I'm super happy. Really? I was super happy. I like Don Cheeto, but. He's the best, man. I remember that motherfucker. I mean, it's, colors. A, it's a very pretentious mustache. The uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh his. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, do you guys ever see that movie, Colors? No, that's a fucking classic. Sean Penn and Robert Duvall. Don Cheadle's in it. I think it's like Don Cheadle's like first starring role, and then he plays like a crip gangbanger. Oh, wow. The movie got banned uh, in movie theaters because it came out like in the eighties. Um, and there was like straight cause it's all about gang violence in LA and there were like shootings in movie theaters and shit. They banned the movie from, from being played in the movie theaters all across the country. And, uh, wow. ice cube saying the, the soundtrack colors, 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 colors. Oh, uh, it's a good fucking movie. You gotta watch that. That's a good, that's a, that's a, it's, and it also talks about like police corruption in LA at the does, time. Does, uh, the, does don't be a menace to South Central. While drinking your juice in the hood, does that make fun of that movie in any kind of way? I'm sure it's got to at some point. There's the one where the Nazi like sniping like the, the kid at school, and he's like, "Got him!" And he's like, right, right, he's like crossing out names like OJ and like Michael Jackson or some shit like that. Dude. But what movie is that from? Well, I remember that being in well the the Billy Madison had that scene where Billy calls the oh, the kids that he used to make fun of at school, uh -huh. and and he calls Steve Buscemi's character. Mm -hmm. And he's like, hey, I was really mean to you when I was in school or whatever. And he hangs up the phone and Steve Buscemi's got the kill list, yeah, yeah. right? And Billy Madison's name's on the top and he scratches it out. And, and then he puts the lipstick. Yeah, the oh lipstick. My God, <laughs> it's so good. That, that was a clay. And then, and then Steve Buscemi ends up shooting the other guy at the end of the movie. And he's like, glad I made that phone call. Yeah. <laughs> right? Dude, uh, it's funny. You were like mentioning... Uh, uh, the public enemy and anthrax uh, crossover. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, now I'm thinking about airheads. Oh, that was a great movie, yeah, dude. Yeah. And uh, Brendan Fraser, Brendan Fraser, Steve this Buscemi. Is, this, is, this is Brendan Fraser. You remind me of, you know what it is? I think it's your voice that reminds me and your really? mannerisms remind me of Brendan Fraser. 
Get the fuck out of here. I would love to be Brandon Frazier. That guy That guy had a great career in like the 90s and early 2000s. I love Brandon Frazier. It's go- so great. Yeah. So great. Um, uh, the, uh, so wait, Steve Buscemi's in that. Yeah, and so is Adam Sandler. And so is Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler is like, hey, man. Fucking uh, 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 anthrax and uh, anthrax and uh, public enemy really fucking kill that. You know what I'm saying, my G? He's like, I don't know what you're saying. I don't know what the fuck you're saying. You're standing on my dick, man. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. He's like, you're standing on my dick, man. Have you ever? uh, He hasn't seen that movie. This old movie. He hasn't seen it. I give it a. I give it a nine. For nostalgia. (laughs) For for nostalgia. It's definitely not a nine, but for nostalgia, it gets a nine. Dude, this has been a really fucking fun pod. It has. It has. But we have to we have to pull the plug on it. And it would have been longer, but I guess we have secret NFT material now. <laughs> <laughs> non fuckable trade or something. <laughs> non fungible. Oh, a token. There you go. Non fuckable token. <laughs> so I read I saw a meme that said fung non fungible. Sounds like it's not a fungus. <laughs> not fungible. <laughs> like, like, it's, they're like, I don't understand. If if I break it down the word, to me, it sounds like it's not a fungus. <laughs> Which is not good for... Trips in this show, yeah, 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 exactly. We're all about the fun guy on this show. True that. Dude, a whole quarter and go to the fucking theater? Dude, Batman. To watch the Batman. Batman to watch Batman. By the way, he starts tripping balls like midway during the movie as it's getting like super fucking dark like i mean it's dark from the beginning but like midway during the through that movie it gets i think something like clicked into place in my brain because since that day i have not been able to stop listening to grunge music (laughs) every single day i get in my car and i I hit track radio or nirvana something in the air is Every that, single is day. Is that the song that plays? Something yeah. in the air? Yeah, the acoustic version. The one that he played on uh, yeah. uh, live? I got goosebumps. Unplugged. Even through the pirated version <laughs> that I saw. <laughs> <laughs> I have goosebumps on that part. When he gets like, it's like the shot of the city. And he's yeah. playing that shit. That was so dope. Yeah. Dude, it's like I remember that moment. The shot of the city and the song playing. And it, it was just different from. I think his tools got to get better in the second one. Like, the Batmobile was dope, but it's got to get better. It can't just stay like that. Oh, uh, the, yeah, no, it was pretty dope, though. What is it, like a Charger or something? It's, I mean, it's a fucking, it's a Frankenstein. Yeah. You know, that, I mean, it's got a Frankenstein with a jet I mean, engine. I mean, not air, a fucking. Looks fuck. like Toretto. What, <laughs> <laughs> Fa- family. <laughs> oh, now I'm thinking about. I did the now, quarter now, mile now, in this thing. Now I'm doing Sons of Anarchy. Abel, Jax, <laughs> Gemma. Gemma. Family. Family. Dude, you know, I forgot how... Yo, but listening to the song so much has made me, like, have you l- looked at the lyrics from yeah. Something in the Way? <laughs> Something in the Way, I jump off this bridge. Uh, Underneath I mean, the bridge. Okay. Tarp has sprung a leak. And the animals I've trapped have all become my pets. And I'm living off of grass. And the drippings from my ceilings. It's okay to eat fish. Cause they don't have any feelings. Is that the cadence of like the actual song? More or less. And then that's when that fucking bass line comes in. Then it's something in the way. <laughs> mm. Let me tell you something. Forget Nirvana. This is 10 times better. Yo, but yeah. it's like, no. Did- I'm, I'm going to try to analyze that. Can you do it for the next podcast? The animals I've trapped have all become my pets. Yeah. Pets. But then he goes on to say, like, ironically, it's okay to eat fish because they don't have any feelings. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, is that because we're talking about fish because you're under the bridge, so you're, like, in the river? Like, what does it mean, man? Octopi are sentience. They are. We had this conversation on the podcast. And, like, that's the only, like, it's just that verse, like, over and over again. There's no other lyrics. Well, that's Nirvana for you in the 90s. You know, have you, I used to love Bush when I was a, a kid. Great band. Yeah, right? Great band. Uh, and I still, oh, I still so when their I'm, songs come on, I, I still I look, love I look this up. Their songs make absolutely no sense now. Apparently, like, like I look up the lyrics the way, and I'm like. The concept is, this is from Kurt Cobain. 
Like if I was living under the bridge and I was dying of AIDS, if I was sick and a total street person. What does that have to do with fish? It's like his dream to be like be homeless in Seattle under dude, a bridge. The guy was on heroin a lot, dude. Okay, I mean, you know, it's a brilliant musician, but sometimes. But the girl like that would have been doing heroin too. Jesus Christ! Corby love? Oh my oh. God, man! I love when they kill her on the road. They like they destroy her on the roast too. Oh, uh, do they? And somebody's roast. Uh, I think it was like uh, Pamela Anderson's. <laughs> so good. Oh my god! Emmett Smith roast is really good too. Have you I seen, that? seen that one? Jamie Foxx is the host, no. and the guy bombs, and then Jamie r- destroys him on stage. No, you gotta see that. Show. No, Jeff Ross is on it too. Uh, and Jeff he's Ross like is the, the only best. white person in the whole thing. Jeff, Jeff Ross is the best. Though. He's like, I feel like I died and went to Harlem because he was the only <laughs> white. He was the only white. He's like, this isn't a roast; it's a barbecue. <laughs> it's tasteful, dude. It's like perfectly tasteful. Oh, he's great, man. Yeah, yeah. He's Yo, great. Uh, speaking of fish, fish tacos. <laughs> fish tacos fish tacos uh don't forget check out uh the new documentary that uh carlos uh scored south beach shark club baby south beach shark club hopefully coming to a netflix near you <laughs> that's the hopefully yeah, coming yeah. on your face so thank you you're like you're like you're like wish you're putting into the universe i am i, I am like, i want netflix for you guys I, I want the best so i want netflix for you guys uh, also uh <laughs> Have bitches be crazy now make sure i send you the link my, i published it <laughs> i published it i think that there's a thing called toxic masculinity and there's also toxic femininity all right i can't even say it femininity <laughs> all right two-way yeah, street baby you're you're you're, you're one man on an island by yourself. I'm already right married. This <laughs> I already locked something down, so I'm good. <laughs> oh Look, God. this show, uh, we are equal opportunity offenders. Oh. We are the Oprah of offending people. You get offended. <laughs> you get offended. <laughs> you get offended. <laughs> Look under your seat. Oh! You all got offended. <laughs> She want my pimp juice. From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. Shrooms to Skyrim. From Shrooms to Skyrim with Matthew and Hiram. From Shrooms to Skyrim. Shrooms to Skyrim. Shrooms to Skyrim.